The pupils in my class often play that jinx game that's been around for decades. You know, two people who say the same word or phrase at the same time. One says jinx, personal padlock, and the other can't speak again until being unlocked. That's how I feel when teaching the class. Like someone else has the key. The school wanted to bed me in with the ankle biters in reception when I came. Fancying a challenge, I insisted on banana. A notoriously unruly year four class, that first week was tough. <laughs> Said bananas were pretty rotten. Their mix of middle class entitlement and inner city belligerence made them streetwise beyond their eight or nine years. So I changed tack, jettisoning two thirds of my teacher training and added some much needed bad lieutenant to my good cop shtick. Firstly, I asked them to change my name. Miss Judge was an unfortunate pun. So they suggested the moniker Nudge, a portmanteau of my first and last names. The informality was an instant hit. Discipline, though? Took some getting used to. Someone calling out in class would have to take a jinx-style vow of silence for the rest of the day. One by one, the bad bananas would be muted. They would learn their lesson, and the rest of the bunch would be put off. There were, of course... A few white bananas. Those who would never speak out of turn in the first place. One of these was the girl. She stood out. Not only in her behaviour, but also in her intelligence, her attitude, her looks. I appreciated all of these. The latter in particular. Something about the girl really got under my skin. Something about the way her features struck my gaze with their transparent callowness. Felt better because it was the face of a young child. Every time the girl looked at me I felt quietly happy, and then weirdly embarrassed, as if our roles had reversed. She was an adult in a child's body. I was a teacher with a schoolgirl crush. I asked myself, was I a, uh, you know what, surely I couldn't be, those people, act on selfish, predatory urges. They don't love the victims like I loved the girl. It was sad when she moved up to year five. Although part of me was relieved. I would teach a new, fresh banana class, one without her. And that would unlock me. Only there was a new girl. And the same thing happened. It happened the year after that too. And has done every year since. There's always one who jinxes me. She can be the quietest or the loudest. But she'll be able to take my voice away with a smile alone. And that's the curse of the jinx game. It double knots your tongue and swears you to your own secrecy. I want to tell someone though. I want that person to reassure me that I am not a freak. That it doesn't make me any less of a good teacher. I want that person to reveal to me that they have those same feelings. Maybe all adults do deep down. Maybe the way no one is completely heterosexual 
no one is entirely, oh, what's the word? Normal? Adults pretend they are though. They create the taboos and stigmas that jinxes like mine are made of. If I tell an adult, I will lose my job. Could I trust a child though? Perhaps one day I'll catch the girl in a jinx. Then I'll tell her about my jinx. That would be the most personal padlock of all.